for, uh, for being creepy doll things, those Willikin did an all right job fixing up the ship. Thank you, friend. What, 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 what are you doing here? Wanted to come with you new friends on boat. We like you. But aren't you supposed to be kind of frozen in the real world? Ha ha, that is a joke we like to play. Willikin always alive in all worlds. Now can we show you the new surprise? Okay. See? Now use gun to defend ship. No more gets shot down. Hey, how about that? Why don't you give that thing a try? Alright, what's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Walken here from Coin TV playing some Skylanders Giants on the Xbox 360. Uh, I believe we're in part chapter 8 here. So I'm, uh, I got Swarm in my hands. Let's check out the gun deck. <coughs> Stop the sheep invasion. Oh no! So if you watched my last video, or a couple videos back, I told you how I, I'm usually... I like to have my Y axis inverted on my controls. So, uh... Skylanders, the Giants doesn't allow you to do that, so... These kind of areas where I have to move up and up means up, it kind of throws me off and it takes me a while, because... Oh no, that one got through. So apologies for not getting 100%, but if the designers allowed you to switch over. Alright, let's... that was okay. Uh, let's see here, can I drop down here? <clears throat> some boxes there. Alright, so if you guys have been uh, watching my Skylander Giants videos, I've been going through each chapter of the game from beginning to end through the story mode. Chant it up with you along the way, so let's uh, carry on. Hey, hey, ready to drop in on these trolls and take them in that force field? Alright, let's do this. And uh, hope that the stories of those cannons are greatly exaggerated. All right, chapter eight, Troll Home Security. Exciting times here. This looks like it's going to be a fun chapter. A little checkerboard uh, building uh, awaits me. Look so bad. No one's even defending this place. Losers! <gasps> you think these people have enough cannons? Yeah. These trolls sure take their jobs seriously. Getting to the shield generator isn't going to be easy. If you can distract the guards, I'll go around back. That sounds like you could use a big, strong, and yes, extremely attractive bodyguard. How could I say no? Boom! Fine. But I move quickly, so stay close. I'll meet you up ahead, okay? All right, we got Callie involved here. <laughs> it's so cute how you <coughs> pretend to run away from me. All right, so heads up, if I miss a, an item, a hat or something, don't, uh... At least hard to find. See if you can grab something to take down this wall. So don't, uh, yeah, don't be upset with me if I... If I miss something, because, uh... I'm... Even though I'm trying to complete these levels at 100%, I'm trying to also keep the videos short and not explore too much. <clears throat> Let's take out some trolls here. Alright, 
before I drop down that ledge, let's go check out what's inside this house here. Some more trolls. It's like a little pathway around the back here. Swarm's kind of fast for the, for the giants. He's a little on the fastest side, as you can see. The flying. <coughs> ah, speaking of hats, there we go. Alright, looks like we're going to have a fiesta. Sombrero. Uh, I'm not going to wear that now. I can't imagine the sombrero looking cool on Swarm. <clears throat> Don't need that bomb anymore. So this is one of Swarm's cool power-ups here. You can turn into bees, and I can just walk into bad guys, and they'll start hurting. Or I can turn into bees and use uh, this crazy axe to chop at them. He's got some pretty cool leveled-up abilities. Uh, be doing a Skylanders 101 on him probably soon, because you see I've got him leveled up to 6 there. Got to get some coins, though. Try and go a little further along. Before we make the one on one video on Swarm. <clears throat> oh, look at this. I almost missed this little wing sapphire hovering around on the side there. It's a good thing she popped up. So you get discounts in the uh, for the upgrades with the wing sapphires. There's Callie. Waiting for me. And Flynn catching up. Uh, don't worry, Callie. We're here. You're safe now. Yeah. What a relief. Just hit the switch to trigger my explosives when you're ready. I'll try to keep Brain Trust here out of trouble. All right, so I'm gonna do a little switcheroo here. I got some new Skylanders this week, so let's take a uh, swarm off and. Uh, Let's try out uh, Shroom Boom here. Life element, according to Eon, having a life element here will be good. <clears throat> I just got him today, or uh, yesterday, I think, from Toys R Us, so he's uh, he's new. I have no idea what he does. Looks like he does some crazy Shroom Boom, <laughs> shroom boom attack there. Stay with me this time. And uh, as you can see, he shoots little balls of, looks like poison balls or something out of his slingshot. And I do think there is a, a power-up or a leveling up where he shoots himself with the uh, slingshot. So that'll be kind of interesting to, to see when I get there. <laughs> oh no, now it's telling me fire elements are strong here. I guess I put... Well, this is cool. I can kind of just stay back here. Shoot at these guys. He looks like he's got some good vertical range. Oh, that's good. He's got a little shield. Although I'm getting in the corner here. It's not a good space. Oh no, this guy looks huge. Chompy Pot 9000. <laughs> Uh, his powers, he seems pretty strong. I mean, these, these little bomb things are a little on the clumsy side. But they go pretty far. And I guess I could just, like, hang out inside my shield here. Although these chompies are getting a little annoying. Oh. 
I'm trying not to die because uh, the first video I did for chapter 6, I like tossed on a bunch of Skylanders and they were all like a level 1 and stuff and it was they died pretty quickly so I'm trying to play a little more strategic here. Good job. Now see if you can open these gates. All right, looks like we got a puzzle there. Hey, there's still a few little chompy dudes hanging around. Hmm. Oh, there's a chompy back there. I was gonna say, am I taking damage from my own mushrooms? Kind of reminds me of Zook. He's got the uh, Zook had the little plants and mushrooms that kind of pop up there, right? Oh man, I didn't know the I didn't know the radius was gonna be that large for that missile there. You need to get me some food here. I see some food up on that ledge. Alright, let's try this puzzle. I make no promises on these puzzles. Sometimes I can get them on perfect. Sometimes Sometimes I can't see how things go here. Although this looks like I'm off to a good start. Should be the end right here. Ten moves. Perfect. Yes. Perfect score. True portal masters can get perfect on the puzzles, right? No, my health is waning. It's kind of strange when you play as a giant for a while. You get you get sort of used to the um, the giants and being able to just walk over everything and not actually have to hit anything. So then when I toss it on like a regular sized Skylander like this, uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to shoot things. Any little ledges to drop off? Looks like a ledge over there to drop off onto. Better remember to do that. <clears throat> Alright, come on, you guys. I feel my... Oh, no. There's a lot of bad guys over there. Well, I was hoping to take out some, some baddies there. Uh, let me get some of this food. Some, my health is waning. Hmm. This is weird. It... It almost looks like I can't shoot over my own mushrooms, which, that's no fun. Ah, walked right into that. All right, so this is cool though. looks like I can huff these bombs over that wall there. So that's a plus. I really dislike like enemies that you can't get shoot back, so this is good being able to toss those up there. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> guys are taking a little longer than I thought here. What do you got up there? It's not fair having guns? Aha! There you go. <clears throat> Alright, that was an accident. I didn't mean to push that. Over there, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh boy, I got more of these guys? <clears throat> it sort of looks like when the bad guys are closer that I don't shoot as high with my sling shots, so it's, uh, it's sort of interesting to have to factor that into my aiming.
There's Callie and Flynn waiting for me up there, but first we gotta collect some of this goodness here. Let's see, will this allow me to walk across? There we go, good. Oh, this is gonna be a feat of strength. I'm gonna have to get a giant back over here. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to Hothead. Fire element. Hey, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. So he's new. I mean, all these figures are new. Hey, the game came out like yesterday, two days ago. <laughs> I went to. Uh, I had a few. I had a few figures early. So I've been playing with like Fright Rider and of course Jetvac and Tree Rex and um, Crusher. Now I've got like Hothead and and uh, Sprocket, Flashwing. So I'll be trying to I'll try I'll try and swap those in as we go here. Here's here's what Hothead can do. He throws a tar or whatever this is, and you can light it up. Like you can like burn. <laughs> You can like torch the tar there. It's pretty crazy. So now as a giant I can pick up this stuff here. I use his two hands to toss it. It's funny when Bouncer tosses things, he kinda like drops it on his back wheel and uh, and then slaps it across. Alright, let's drop down to this ledge here. And uh oh it looks like there's two two areas to sneak into. A puzzling cavern. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can keep the perfect streak alive. Feeling I've lost the first streak. Because now I'm gonna go in here and this is not gonna help. Alright, so much for that. Skylander smack talk. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm getting a little disorientated here. Looks like I need to get. Tense music going here. Hmm. Let's restart this puzzle. Go around this way. Get that. That drops down there. Get that guy. And then what I'll do is I'll go back into the blue. <laughs> Although now I'm already up to like 15 moves here. Somehow I thought that would work out better. Now it's going to do the same thing. Hmm. Ah. There we go. I didn't I didn't figure that out before. Okay, well that's a harder puzzle. So, what am I going to get back here? Gold? Some money? Money to burn! Money to burn! Hey, you know what? I don't have a hat on Hothead. Uh, hmm. 
Well, let's go in here first. See if there's a hat waiting for us in here. Oh, you guys are dead. <laughs> One shot. Take half of them out there. So you can hold down the A for a few seconds and it'll just kind of shoot fire out of his hand. Ah, oh, there's a story scroll up there. <laughs> Those wacky Archaeans. Sure, let's have Eon read it to While us. Not known for their sense of humor, Archaeans did enjoy playing the occasional prank, particularly in their secret Archean vault of secrets. The prank involved hiding a teleporter under things like pottery and then asking someone to go grab said piece of pottery. The unsuspecting target was suddenly teleported away, giving the prankster the closest thing Archaeans have to a laugh. Pranksters, those wacky Archaeans. Anything else in here? What do we got? Something over here? So yeah, if you guys have been playing Skyliner Giants, you'll you'll note that uh, sometimes you'll be smashing a little pot or something, and uh, suddenly, suddenly you get te teleported away. Let's put a hat on. Hmm. Now his hat, his head's already on fire. So, what kind of hat can we use <laughs> that's not going to catch on fire, right? How about the? I know there's like a firefighter hat somewhere. There we go, firefighter helmet. Sure, let's let's use that. Oh, <laughs> look at how tiny it is on his head. Actually, it looks kind of cool. It's funny because I put that hat on Flame Slinger, and it was like Flame Slinger so tiny, and the hat was like five times the size of him, so it's interesting to see the difference nice in the hat work. size. We're gonna need to find something to destroy that cannon. Looks like they've left their artillery system on. I bet a giant could pick up those big shells. Why, Callie, it looks like I can do that for you. Okay, I'm starting to talk like Flynn there. I can't believe you can lift that. Oh. What was that? I, I like suddenly hit like an invisible wall there. I missed. There we go. Inhuman shield. Oh, these guys are done. You guys are dead. These inhuman shield guys are actually pretty hard because they take a lot of damage. Um, see, look, they can bounce off, bounce off my attacks, and they're pretty strong when they when they attack. And they're always in like groups of three or four or something, so and I guess the idea is to suck them into to smashing their shields down or you can try and walk around behind them. But look at how much how much damage that took right there. And I'm almost at half my health just from a couple of inhuman shields attacks. <laughs> This is almost unfair. Tossing tar or oil on a troll and then burning them. All right, before I go on the bouncy pad here, let me go ahead and go back to uh, this puzzle. Where Callie and Flynn are hanging out. Gosh, he's a he's a slow walker indeed, though. All the giants are pretty slow. Swarms pretty fast. All right, what's in here? Just the chest. All right, I'll, I'll attempt to be a little faster with this one. This puzzle seems dramatically more easier than the last one. Although now I'm 
There we go. Ah, no perfect, no excellent, just puzzle solved. So here's the giant. I just walk over and smash things. Alright, are we good to go? Is there anything else? Oh, there's a chest hiding right here. Almost missed that. Money to burn. Money to burn. You did cost a lot of money there, hothead. Giants run ya. Fifteen bucks. Hey look, it's like Gilgrunt's younger cousin here or something. Is this going to be Gurglefin? Arturo. Alright, so let's get rid of Hothead here and go with Slam Bam, who's a war element. This is Series 2 Legendary Slam Bam. He's got kind of a blue, a blue shade to him. He'll fit right in with the uh, water. Now, uh, as you can see, I haven't really done anything with Slam Bam yet, so... His, uh... Oh, gosh. It's, it's weird, I'm so... <laughs> uh, my, my original Slam Bam is, uh... Like, all maxed out and stuff, so... It's a little interesting to not have the little surfboard... Surfboard to use here. I actually have to walk. I'm so used to using the surfboard to kind of slide around everywhere. Alright. I guess that's not the way to do it. Hmm. Can I move this one over? No. Okay, what do I have to do? Push this further? Eh. I didn't mean to uh, push this rock that far. There we go. That'll move that gargoyle. Come on, get up there. <laughs> Let's see. So these series two figures, if you haven't realized by now, they added like a ton. Oh, that was a waste. They added like voice acting to them, so they're they're a little more talkative. <laughs> they're a little more talkative. And uh, they have a little more sort of personality to it. When you go in the menu, they'll Looking say good. things. I think. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty cool. It's a good addition. There's some bad guys in here. No, my my regular slam bang. I'll take these guys all with like one punch. All right, all treasure chests are found. Great.
Okay, obviously I missed the hat in there. <laughs> hmm, it's interesting, there's a fence there. That usually means bad guys are gonna Ambush. pop out. <laughs> okay! Ambush. Oh no, it's three evil gill grunts. Alright, forget this nonsense. I'm, uh, I'm gonna show these guys. Let's get uh, Crusher on here. Alright, you guys are done. Kind of strong here. I mean, they may, they may, they may hurt me. <laughs> wow, three evil gill grunts. I underestimated their their abilities there. Let's check out some Freight Rider. All right, we got one down. Wow, he's even he's even taken out Fry Rider almost here. Alright, we made it. I thought for sure Crusher was going to be able to, to come in and take care of business. But, uh, you know, the Giants, the Giants are kind of clumsy. What is this? Pajama shorts? <laughs> All hats found. Alright, we're doing good so far. Pants hats. No, I'm not going to do that. I like the, uh, the hat I've already got on him. Something else through here? Flame Slinger is good because he's like fast for uh, running around. Uh, don't need that anymore. What a hard time with that bouncy pad. Okay, dude. Thanks for the goodies there. Alright, let's go exploring. See what's hiding back here. Ah, it's Arik. Chillin'. Oh wait, that's not Arik. It's like fangs or something. So the good word there is it is, fangs. The Sky Stones player, have you? Well, how about a rematch then? Uh, I'm gonna pass on this rematch oh, for now. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, I'm sorry. Mm, got too emotional there. I kind of like the uh, the passing dialogue. They get mad at you. It's kind of funny. But I just pass on that because as fun as playing Skystones is, I just want to kind of keep the action moving on these gameplay videos. Uh, this is a pretty cool little section of the game here. I played this when I was at E3. These little moving platforms and stuff are pretty cool. I killed him before his bomb even had a chance to explode. Ride like the wind. Ah. All right, so far this little section isn't terribly hard. This guy's hiding behind a bouncy pad there.
Hmm, I feel like I'm missing something. Well, hey there. Looks like we found those cannons, huh? Oh no. Don't worry, I activated the supply something or other to dispense these artillery thingamajigs. Uh, translation. We'll need those explosives to take out the big cannons. Let's go. Alright, does that mean I'm gonna have to get a giant going? I'm not sure why. See, there's no, there's no money or anything. It's weird that you can like kill those or explode them and nothing happens. Let's ride. The battlements. Let's dust. Ah, uh, it's a statue of chaos there. Get a giant. I can pick that up. Should I talk to Callie? We'll just need you to take out that cannon before we can advance. Hmm. Sort of seems like I may need to use a giant. Let's see what old bouncer's up to here. I got my Spyro hat on him. It's pretty cool. We'll just need you to take out that cannon before we can advance. There we go. I had a good throw right there. Let's go ahead and take up this uh, Eon statue. I think there's an achievement. Oh, there's a teleporter there. I think there's an achievement for uh, getting rid of all of the Eon statues. Hmm. Let's see, where does this teleporter take me? Ah! Hey, look at that. Bouncer. Looks like he's going to find the Bouncer Soul Gem. Oh, no, that's the Crusher Soul Gem. My bad. They kind of have that similar face there. All right, awesome. So that's how you get the Crusher Soul Gem. Uh, I skipped that just because you guys have already seen seen some of my Crusher gameplay earlier, or at least a few seconds of it of me dying. I thought it was going to be great. I thought I was going to come in and be like, "Yo, Crusher, one shot, one kill," but. Uh, didn't quite work out that way. Hmm. This might have been a bad, bad decision here. So that blue is going to drop down there, and then I will spin around and get the green. 14 moves. Excellent. Perfect score. There we go. Flynn, excited. All right, so watch. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, when he, when Bouncer tosses things, so he kind of spins his wheel around. It's pretty cool. He's. He, I haven't really. I haven't really done any of the way as far as leveling him up yet. I've only had him for like half a day, so forgive me. But I'm hoping that I'm hoping that one of these. One of his powers uh, will be going faster as I'm saying it there. He's so slow, I couldn't get him to dodge that missile. Woo! Wow, that was a close one. Yet, somehow, I was able to lead us through. That's amazing, Flynn. If you don't mind, I'll be the one to set up the explosives here. All right, Callie, do your thing. Well, let's collect some of this macaroni and cheese. Guys, uh, if you're enjoying this Skylanders Giants commentary, make sure you leave me a comment and uh, say what's up. Oh no, that was not a good idea. Look at Callie and Flynn are just, are just standing there while I'm fighting. Bouncer's got this crazy bombs he shoots off his shoulders. He's pretty powerful as far as Giants go. Um, I'm down with Bouncer. He's, he can fire fast. His bullets like ricochet off walls. I mean, that looks crazy. Uh, what do we got up there? Is it a chest or something? Something there to move. 
This is a lot to uh, figure out. And then Uric is over there again. How did he teleport all the way up there so soon? Ah, oh, thought I cleared that. It's that one I cleared. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> oh man. Ah. Uh. Once you get to the bad guys, it's like not as difficult than those cannons. Any food over here? I got 2,000. I should be able to get some upgrades next time I'm in the uh, Flint ship there. shoot out these dud missiles here before I get over there. Uh, Eric, do you have food? <laughs> Can I buy food off of you? You know what I can do is I I think I can uh, I think I can get like a upgrade from him. Charm that helps battle trolls. He's got cards in there. Summon the upgrade fairy for fifty bucks. All right, let's do an upgrade, an in-game upgrade. Press B to fire concentrated laser beams. Hmm, target enemies, right lands. Uh, let's do the laser beams. Whoa! This is kind of like the uh, one of the bad guys that was in. Oh, I hit all the birds. My bad. In the first uh, game, Sky Skylanders Adventure, Spyro's Adventure. Oh, is that a good idea or a bad idea? Okay, I guess that was a good idea. So why would I want to push that? Hmm. This is nothing over here. So yeah, in, Spy in um, Skylander Spyro's Adventure, could uh, there was like a one of the villains kind of did that. I forget their names. This is, it's been a while. I haven't. I mean, I played it not too long ago. I played it many, many a times. Uh, hey, buddy! Looks like you just found the shield thingy. Well done. Guess those guards aren't going to let us destroy it without a fight. All right. Let's take out some trolls. Let's see if this laser does anything. Oh, it doesn't really go far. Miss the missiles better. Look at how many how many guys I get to get out with one missile blast there. Oh no. There's more of these dudes. <laughs> See, the bouncer missile's good for these guys with the shields because it kind of goes a little bit behind them. There's some pizza. Give me the pizza. There's nothing over here. It's interesting. This is like a bridge that goes to nothing. It's cool, it's almost like giants battling each other here. Destroy the shield gun. Alright, destroyed it. I think a boom is in order here. Boom! Now that the force field is down, we can finally pay chaos a little visit. Alright, if you guys are still watching... We probably should try to capture him or something, right? Right? <laughs> Alright, if you guys are still watching, if you made it to the end, type in BOOM in the comments so that I know that you 
you made it this far. Oh no, I missed a legendary treasure and a Lucko Luckotron wheel. That's all right. I'll go ahead and go back, play this game again, record it, make a little video showing you how to get uh, all the collectibles. So uh, that's it for this chapter. For CoinMTV, it's Rob Welkner signing off. We'll see you in the next chapter. Boom!